Hello, Skullgirls fans, and welcome to another edition of me practicing, hopefully, hopefully this will actually be something that I can put onto YouTube, because hopefully I won't swear too much. Also, I'm Shadow Fury 333 for those of you who are not familiar, hello. So yeah, practicing, because Northwest Majors is in two weeks. So in case you're wondering, there's not going to be any streams of basically anything over that weekend, on Friday or Saturday or Sunday, because Sundays have kind of been a recent day in place of Saturday, because this month is really busy on Saturdays, although next Sunday I don't even know, because tomorrow is a wedding. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any streams on Sunday. Certainly not tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm not at home. Sunday, I might be doing other stuff, so we'll see. Anyway, Eliza, oops. Okay, right. Let's actually think for a sec. Uh, if I, like, use anti-air moves when I'm dealing with opponents in the air, like my heavy punch, not use heavy kick all the time because that's all I ever use. Ah. People usually jump when Fuku gets close, but apparently not this person. Ah, oh, it's a squiggly in Eliza. Really? Oh, it worked! Yeah, I didn't expect that to work. I was thinking, oh, maybe it'll work, maybe it'll work. But, I mean, center stage didn't really help me or hurt me too much, so whatever. I'm not using that. There are much better moves to use, like that one. Like my heavy puncher. Or medium, sorry. Medium punch or medium kick, crouching. Those work a lot better, or even my heavy punch. Well, I mean, I'm getting away with a lot of stuff I shouldn't be able to get away with, honestly. Being able to do all those heavy kicks is really not something I should be able to get away with. Do okay, I'm saying that. I have a hard time with Squiggly. I don't know how to deal with Squiggly. As can be clearly seen here. I don't know how to deal with Squiggly. If anyone can tell me how to deal with Squiggly as Fuqua, please let me know. Because Squiggly is one of my hardest matchups. Just, it's, I don't think it's the character. I just have a really hard time with the fact that Squiggly is so small. Like, I don't think it's that Squiggly has like a 7-3 matchup on Fuqua. Maybe she does. I don't know. It doesn't feel like that. It just feels like I don't know what I should be dealing with with Squiggly. I think it's also that my approach options are kind of limited. I'm really focused. It's a common problem I have. I get so focused on just having this one combo to do, and given that Skullgirl's combos are super important for and getting any damage, really, I get super focused on the combo and don't really focus on the neutral game. I mean, you could clearly see it where I was heavy kicking the entire time, just standing heavy kick in neutral, or crouching heavy kick in neutral, or jumping heavy kick in neutral. Everything was heavy kick. That's a terrible approach strategy. It's just that I don't really know what the better approach strategy is. Unless I'm actually comboing it. Although it seems to work fairly well. Ah, no, not what I wanted. Thought I'd be able to push them away, but apparently not. Valentine isn't normally much of a problem. It's just, you know, they're they're a rushdown character, so I have to be on my toes. What? I thought I was grabbing them. Sheesh. Okay, that wasn't me trying to grab. Oh, I just realized I don't have pad light on. I'll put pad light on after this. My apologies for anyone watching. I try to have pad light on so you all can see what I'm doing. Hey! Oh, come on. Seriously? There we go. Ah. There, okay, try it again. Up. What? Well, at least I got my combos in and actually took the first round. And lost the second round, okay. Or, take. And hopefully I can get another combo in and actually get that much closer. One combo won't be enough. I keep forgetting what I used. Oh, 
Right, it's crouching or standing heavy punch after the medium kick. Not anything else. Also, if I want to use an anti-air move, my standing heavy punch is a very good move to use. Not anything else. I think I'm dead. Yeah, that poison is a pain. Okay, let's put pad light on, just so you can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. What? Oh, right, shoot. One sec, I'm sorry. Gonna have to do... Right, because this pad light does not work with my controller in Xbox mode, because Comic Q4. Which means I'm gonna have to change my controls. Okay. What the... Well, now this just broke. Alright, let's try that again. Sorry, I normally set that up beforehand, but I haven't done Skullgirls in a while, so I guess I forgot. What the... I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's why. Now we're good. This program... What? Well, it... Okay, it's not letting me show... Or use point of view hat. Yeah, it's only... Okay, ah, this program's a piece of crap. Quite honestly. I mean, it's kind of handy, but it's not even letting me show... The POV hat anymore. Alright, whatever, I guess you won't... You know what? Forget it. If I can't show the POV hat, there's no point. Like, if I can't show you what directions I'm moving, then you can't see what specials I'm trying to execute or what I was trying to do, so forget it. We're gonna have to do without pad light today. This is a pad light free one. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, they left. Oops. <sighs> Not really sure if Padlet is that useful anyway. It's kind of nice when watching it back to see, oh, this is what I was doing. Shoot. I should probably have done something different. But usually you can just kind of tell by, oh, come on, give me something. That's one thing I do not like about Skullgirls' matching system. I can't choose a level of ping or anything. I just choose a region, and it's either my region alone, which... Is super restricted. There's four regions for North America. Actually, Canada is separate? There's six regions that are relevant. At least five of which, if not all six. Not sure of a Gulf Coast, but I think that's Florida. There's at least five regions here, if not all six, that are relevant to me, and I can only search in one at a time? That's just silly. Why don't you just tell me limit? I want a limit of like 200 milliseconds ping. I don't know. I'm not quite sure the motivation of that was. Like, that is about. That is the only thing in Skullgirls. That is the one interface issue in Skullgirls. That's it. That's basically it. Compared to every other fighting game, at least. That's the one thing that I think it messes up. Ah. Ah. Okay. No, not when you're rushing me down. Not when you're rushing me down. Is that a reset? I think it was. It's often hard to tell with Parasol. Uh, I don't have any openings. Oh. Come on. Oh, I guess that was a time for a low shadow. I'm sure they're going to be using the, their air. I mean, air all the time, and I don't have an easy time dealing with air. Oops. Why am I having a hard time with this? Uh, I've been playing with Dark Souls recently. It's like, that's the thing. I've been playing Dark Souls 3 for the last week just because... Partly getting a backlog for the Let's Play and partly because it's a really good game and I'm really enjoying it. 
But I do have enough of a backlog for the Let's Play of that, at least for... Actually, no, I don't. Never mind, because the weekend's busy. So, yeah. The weekend wasn't busy, I'd have more than enough of a backlog. But I don't. So, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. I'll be able to get enough of a backlog soon enough. Then I'll feel like, oh, well, I guess I can't push this without having too much of a backlog, so then I'll have more motivation to practice fighting games. Ah. Well, that's a third of my health. Because I'm sure... Oh, wait, that's not... Okay, this is not a Fortune player who's super experienced with Fortune. But I look like a Fuqua player who's not super experienced with Fuqua either. Because I keep feeling like everything's unsafe. Like, it's one of the problems that I have with Fuqua is, like... I'm con I'm half convinced the shadows are totally unsafe, so I dislike using them except for the anti-air shadow when they're far enough away that it's going to be hard for them to punish it, which is usually not often. Ah, darn it. <sighs> There's so many options, my intuitions are not working out for me. Oh, they were trying to throw me, okay. That wasn't a good read, that was just coincidence. Uh, let me get my combo off. There we go. Oh, wait, that's squiggly. I'm not going to be able to get my combo off. Well, I got it off enough, although that was three hits to do it. Like, three touches for me to... Ah, oh, seriously? I have not seen someone do that in a long time. In con like Seriously? Super on Tagging? That is kind of 2014. <laughs> okay, I mean, I think I actually thought... No, it was that throws on coming in opponents were a thing that started happening in 2014, and I figured it would work. But, yeah. I Sorry, I figured that it would turn around and stop being a thing, and people would forget about it. But I guess it may be also the case with supers on incoming. Where it was a thing and stopped being a thing, and now may be a thing again? I don't know. All right. So, Philia... And he's probably hitting him. Darn it. Okay, this is gonna suck. I can tell rollback's gonna make this suck. 200 milliseconds is about the limit of where stuff stops being super sensible and becomes really just a matter of can you get the hit in, and if so, can you get the combo in? But after that, like, neutral game feels like there's no way out. There is no room to react just because I can't see what's happening until it happens. At least with Philia. Philia is already hard like that, so... Yeah, I wish there was a way of maintaining or controlling for ping. It's kind of annoying. I mean, within the game, if there is some external way, I don't care. That's way too much effort. Like, for the average person, I could do it. It's just that, for in general, bit of an issue. But hey, this is 150, so it should be okay. Oh, uh, and Beowulf, big man, I hate playing this team. I don't like playing this team mostly because it has... It's a really stupid reason, but it's because it has no women in it. It's because it's all men. Like, this team is the two male characters, and I don't like it for exactly that reason. Because I'm... I have a hard time not being convinced that the people playing it just don't like women. Like, they were reluctantly playing Skullgirls with the female characters, and like, oh, finally, there are men. I can play men because I don't like playing women. And I feel like... I don't know why I feel like I have to be working against that in any way. Uh, give me a safe opening for my super so I can get my combo in. That's one of the weaknesses of Fuqua. She has no range. Or she has some range, but like unsafe range, and it's hard to confirm that range. Uh. So, yeah, basically, I don't like playing against the team because while I don't know that the person I'm playing against is a misogynist asshole, it's hard for me not to think so. It's like, it's hard for me not to feel like I lost someone who has no respect for women, and I don't know why that pisses me off. Like, I'm not a woman. Why does that piss me off? That doesn't make any sense. But I guess I play female characters all the time in every game. I don't like playing male characters. I don't like men. 
Like, there are some individual men I like, but it's like, I'm not super comfortable with... I don't know. It's weird. I'm weird. Because actually, that's false. I hang out with a lot of men. And have several male friends. Most of my friends are men. It's just really weird. It's this weird thing where I just don't like... Male characters in fiction, I guess. That, that must be what it is. I feel like with the men I know, I don't think of them as men. I just sort of think of them as sexless people. <laughs> That's probably why I have an easier time with, or okay with people. Like, I go to tournaments and it's all men and I don't really have a problem with it. Like, I don't get super uncomfortable or anything. So I don't know what it is. I just... I, it's just weird. It's confusing to me. But yeah, whatever it is, it's just this thing that bugs me about playing against the Big Band Beowulf team. But this is not Big Band Beowulf. This is Double and Philia. Uh, I need to know other ways of approaching besides... Oh. Besides basically doing exactly that, because it's the only way I know to get my combo in. Because, like, if you aren't getting your combo in, what damage are you dealing? You're just dealing tiny, trivially, trifling bits of damage that really don't add up. One thing I dislike about Skull Wars as a game. It just feels like if you're not dealing your main combos worth of damage, you aren't dealing any damage. Ah, and of course I always screw that up. Why do I always screw the timing of that up? Uh. Well, that was a waste. This is getting really annoying. I haven't won a single match yet. I feel like I'm... Uh, I feel like I'm where I was a month ago. Now, message from propaganda minister. I don't know. This is not going well. Like, I was playing a few days ago, and I was winning about half my matches, and now I'm losing most of my match. I mean, losing all of my matches. What the hell's wrong with me? Why does this keep happening? Does not make sense to me. Do not blink. Crush them. All right. Come on, get hit. Or get thrown. That works too, because then I can do this. And oh darn it! How is this supposed to be a full combo? Like they keep falling. My opponents keep falling out of it. Oops. Not what I wanted. At all. Because I got hit. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh, come on. That's better. That's what I want. Not the best way of achieving it. That is the best way of achieving it. Hey, I actually pulled that off. Ah! Thought I had a way in. That would have been safe if it was the low shadow. Ah, I wasn't close enough. I'm screwing it up again. Throwing away matches. There we go. There we go. I think I've got this one. Oh yeah, I've got this one. Yep, okay, I won one! I managed to get a win! Alright! That's a nice change of pace! <laughs> Finally took out a match. Alright, let's see if I can continue that streak. Probably not. Spoiler warning. Even though I haven't seen it either. But, spoiler warning, I don't. Ah, uh, Peacock and Pain Wheel. Actually, Pain Wheel's not so bad as Spookla. Pain Wheel was a pain in the butt when I was playing Fortune primarily, but not as Spookla. Ah, I wanted to cross me up, bro. Okay, that was a bad time to push block anyway. Oh, can I do that one? I want to do that one. Or medium, maybe. Shoot. Yeah, like I said, this is not going to work because I don't know how to fight Peacock. I kind of know how to get through that bomb, but that's not a bomb... That's not a bomb vortex Peacock. Okay, opening. Of course, I screwed up, because I always do. The timing on that combo is such a 
Like, I know there's a combo that involves shadows. I don't know if it's any safer or any more reliable than this combo that I'm doing that's basically just going up and down. Like in the air and out of the air. I don't know what the shadow combo is. I've never practiced it. I haven't really found it anywhere. I haven't looked super hard, but I haven't found it anywhere. <sighs> I just don't know, like, does it work more reliably? Does it work on everybody? And does it work more reliably based on distance? Because I feel like that's my biggest problem, is that when I'm a bit too far away, or slight, a bit like a few frames late on the landing attack, because I can't buffer the attack on landing, I end up missing. Like, I have to basically just frame it on landing in order to keep everything going. It's not quite just frame, I think it's like a four or five frame window, but it's still a pretty short window. So that's kind of annoying, and I keep screwing up the timing, and I'd rather just have something that's more reliable. I don't know if the shadow combo is more reliable, It'd be nice if it was. It's probably not that hard to do. Ugh. Stupid eye pings. That's too high to be playable. Actually, maybe not. I have played in pings that high. It hasn't been too bad. If the jitter's okay, it's not too bad. But there's no jitter indicator. Okay, perfect. That's a good... That's a very good ping. Okay, so... Who's nuclear shutdown, then? What do they do? What are they up to? Are they picking their characters? Please pick your characters. I'd like to play. Anytime now. So yeah, I have little confidence in my prospects at Northwest Majors. But then there's another four weeks to Combo Breaker, and I imagine I'll be learning a lot at Northwest Majors. Assuming I actually get any matches in, which I never do. Because, like, I'd say next, and then I can't get a conversation. If I'm having a conversation in the meantime, because I'm a social person, apparently is not allowed in the fighting game community, then I don't end up getting a match, because I wasn't just standing there silently waiting for stuff to happen. Ah. Ah. Hey, wow, I can't believe that works. Okay, seriously, that combo does not work. I mean, it works on bigger characters. If I get the timing right, otherwise I screw it up. I need a better combo. What? Too far away. I don't know those too far away. There we go. That'll work. Hopefully. What the heck? I was... Why did I counter hit? That was my throw. Oops. Well, whatever. That'll work. What? Ah, I mistimed that. What the... Okay, yeah, great time to have a ton of jitter. What the hell? I was about to get a super off that would have... Done all the tricks. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> Battle of the zoners. You got beat by the half zoner. You get bronze. Sheesh. But yeah, that timing is so bloody strict. <sighs> Which I know seems weird when you're talking about someone who also plays Guilty Gear, but then again, I don't know. FRCs didn't really come up so much for me. I wasn't at that level. I wasn't really at that level. Like, I learned a few of them. But in Exert, it's all YRCs, and that's totally different. Build up. So I'm not really sure what to think. Who will be the czar tonight? I really don't know what the frame window is. I doubt it's perfect, like, actually just frame, like, perfect. I, I doubt it's a frame perfect thing. Ah. Oh, right, I have... I have a second jump. I always forget that. Why did you tech towards me? I throw all the time. You should know that by now. 
Like so. It's just I keep screwing up my combo. I guess that's why they don't care. There we go. That's the burst bed wanted to do for a long time now. Oh, they were trying to throw me. How cute. Hey! That was a reset, but it still worked. It still counts. I still hit. I still hit. Okay, I'm actually getting some wins in. Hooray! It's not an embarrassment. Hooray for not doing things in the most embarrassing way possible. Okay, so... What are we dealing with here? Oh, this person again. I think this was the parasol pain wheel. No, no, it's a silly pain wheel. Right, they had Philly up at first. Or pain wheel up at first. Wait, this isn't the one that had. No, this was someone else. Oops. Not what I wanted. That stupid timing. I have practiced it over and over in training mode. I just cannot get that timing down for some reason. What? Of course, has to go over her head. Hey, there we go. It's Philia. There's no. It's not a read. It's oh, they're near me. They're gonna. They're gonna attack. Uh, seriously, that wasn't close enough. Well, that works anyway. And... Oh, nope. I'm in the corner. Oops. Shoot. Hey, that works. Of course, it actually doesn't work, but hey, I guess it works. Because I'm as small as... Philia, I can take advantage of the same thing that screwed me over just before. Ah, I thought I had the timing on that. I was trying to do the super, but it didn't quite work. But I still got the game. Phew. I think that's the second match we've had, and I think I won both times. I'm not totally sure. But hey, I'm managing to get some games in, even though that combo is not working out reliably. <laughs> Actually, to be quite honest, I'll be happy if I go 1 2 or 2 2 at NWM. Like, I don't know what the stakes are going to how hard people are going to be fighting on that. What? I want to jump. Anyway, I don't know how hard people are going to be fighting, but, like, you know, I hope I get at least a couple wins. Because otherwise, it'd be really. I feel like they'd be bad. What the? Okay, why did everything? Why the frame rate drop on me? Or not frame? Not frame rate, just frame skip or something. Got really chunky for a second. Oh, that works. That's a way of getting crossed up. Like I got, I was actually doing it the wrong way apparently, and then it became the right way because I got crossed up. Why was I not throwing you? Why was I not throwing you? What the heck? Okay, where's this going? Okay, see, that's what I expected would happen the first time. I should probably just attempt... If I'm going to try to counter with the super... Try to do it the opposite. Like, try to go with... Oh, what? Not oh, what I wanted. Oh, wait, what am I doing? That was a perfect time to push block. No. That works. That works. That's mine. I caught it myself. Oh, right. I forgot. If I start with the super, I can't just go in with the light kick. There we go. Okay, I think Always Anarchy beat me last time. So we're one and one. 
Ah, I think I'm getting. I think I'm getting back into the hang of this. <laughs> Got to remember before the tournament to do a bunch of warm up games because clearly I get rusty really fast. But then after like a dozen or so games, I start to remember how to play. Somewhat. Although, oh, Maccabee, I've I've been playing this person a fair amount or Maccabi, I guess. I don't know. I can't remember if they're a Beowulf big band player. They are. Uh. Actually, now that I've gone out and said that I have a problem with it. I have much less of a problem with it. It's weird, but like now that I've actually gone out and said it, that's now irrelevant. I actually kind of don't care anymore. Ah, I didn't time that right. Got distracted by my own speaking. I got distracted by the sound of my own voice. That was not a good time for that to happen. Ah, stupid chair. Oh, whoops. I should know to fight Big Ben by now. Fun enough of them. Ah, uh, here's going to neutral. Why did I jump? Why did I jump? I didn't want to jump. I wanted to do my my shadow super or BFF super. Why the heck did I jump? What the heck happened? Uh, hope I'm not getting tired and have my proprioception go away from me. If I get too tired, I have a really hard time figuring out where my hands are. But it's like really tired, not... Oh wait, that's 200. That might be okay. Oh wait, no, this isn't okay. This is the exact person that I pointed out it's not okay with because they play Philia. And it becomes a real problem. Okay. Oh, they were expecting me to go air. You both were trying to counter the same thing? Ah. Uh. Can I beat Philia? Do I have permanent advantage on any of my moves against Philia? Or am I basically just trying to block and then hope for the best? Or occasionally get a weird meaty anti or situation going on? Like that. That was actually a weird error. I wasn't actually moving my... Oh, what? I didn't want to go back. But yeah, I wasn't actually moving back there. I was moving. I wasn't moving my stick. That seemed to have gotten stuck or something. Worked out though. Ah oh, no. Oh, I didn't even realize I'd done anything. That was a bad confirm. That was a bad confirm that cost me the game. Great. Better than last time, but still. Ah, I didn't notice. Hey, wait a sec. I've knocked Cerebell into the air. I can hit her. I can get a full combo off. Into a proper burst bait. <sighs> it must be gang the whole time. Oh, there we go. Someone closer. Ay, who are you? Moe Hart. Who's Moe Hart? I'm ready to pass. Fortune. Wait, did I? No, I played someone else with the same fortune. Coloring. Like ox. Break them. What? Oh no. Oh no. This is not going to be one of those matches. It's going to be one of those matches. It's going to be one of those high jitter matches. Please use wired internet when you're playing this game. If at all possible, please use wired internet. Like, it's such a charity to your opponent. Or even to you, because it's probably a pain in the butt to play that way. Of course, yeah, he's so far away from that didn't work. Come on. Uh, what does that mean by I don't know what's safe? Like, I don't know what's safe and neutral, and I feel like no one's really going to give me a good answer. They'll give me, like, really silly answers that don't actually tell me anything. Ah, uh, seriously? How do I hit Fortune to continue that combo? Why is she so far away? She's not that short. Like, every time I try to do my combo halfway through, it fails because she's too far away. Okay, what is going on? Seriously, what is... I meant more like, what exactly is going on in the match, because all this rollback is making it impossible for me to tell what's happening. 
Ah, I thought I was doing what I needed to do. What? Ah, I thought I'd throw her. Well, let's see if this works. No. No. A what? Really? Ah, what the heck? I had my super meter. I was doing the super input. I was doing drill super. Why did that not happen? Okay, you get them next time. I can't believe that didn't happen. So close. Well, it looks like I had a rematch. Oh crap! Because they had a really bad internet connection. I mean, they're probably not watching the stream, but if they are, wireless is bad. <laughs> Wireless is no good here. Ah, uh, I just screwed that up. I mean, I have the right idea of rushing in and also and going for the anti air. Ah. Nope. Not what I wanted. That's often what the case is. What? I wasn't a push block guard cancel version. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's one down. What? That was close enough? I thought I was far enough away, it wouldn't have happened. Nope, too far. I want to heal! Uh, once again, I don't know how to deal with Squiggly, so as soon as Squiggly pops up, I am... I am done. Mostly because I don't know how to deal with her size. She's just too tiny! Shadow combo probably would work on her, but I, like I said, I don't know what it is. I need to look it up, assuming it's anywhere on Skullheart. Couldn't really find it last time. The combos I did find are the ones that I'm using, the ones where it's going up and down. Actually, I didn't even find that. I was told that one. Sheesh. I mean, the last guide I know over Fuqua was written almost a year ago. So I don't even know if that's still up to date. Time to fight! Ah. I would fault you for putting other people in harm's way, but that's what Carousel does. That's what she always does. Ah, I thought I could get in. Right, right, throws don't beat attacks in this game. Ah. I don't know why I have a hard time with that, since that's generally the case in fighting games, with Guild Gear being the one exception to that rule. Ah, come on. There we go. What? Why was that back throw? I think I was holding back. Why is the game thing I was holding back? Okay, well, that's a combo, so... Cerebell is big enough that it works fine, usually. What?! Okay, that was, that was like a timing issue more than anything. No! Seriously? I have to jump at a story. Well, I've lost this match. There's no way I can win this match. Oh, wait! Ah, shoot. I still need to get the snapback, though, if I want to be able to live. Because there's no way I'm avoiding... Well, I wasn't going to avoid that. I needed to get a snapback to get enough health to survive. That wasn't happening. I don't know how to... How do I snapback combo? I've tried snapback combos. They don't seem to work. At least not in practice. I don't know what Fuku... I don't know anything about Fuku anymore. Feels like everything's changed. Sucks. I've got so many other things i got to do. It's always hard... Coming back to this and being rusty and thinking, wait a sec, there's probably tech that I don't know about that people have figured out that I haven't realized, or haven't worked out, or haven't been told. And ladies, is a shot. Okay, I'm probably screwed. Well, maybe not, I don't know. I could beat their Valentine after one game, but I had to lose one game, and that's never good. Like, I should be able to beat things on the first try. Otherwise, how am I supposed to beat anything? Oh, right. 
Ah, seriously? I stole one of my spacings. Oops. No. Shoot. Well, that's that's take one. Is it take one? Yeah, it's take one. Yeah, I I can't win this. There, I don't see any way I can possibly win this, but we'll see. Uh, again with the spacing issue. How is that supposed to be a full combo? Darn it, Kugetsuki, you lied to me. Or at least you were mistaken. How dare you be mistaken? How dare you make a perfectly understandable error when teaching me something secondhand? I mean, come on. What is that? That's like being human or something. Ah, of course I had to screw up. I mean, that was a perfect situation to actually make the combo work, because I was in the corner with no spacing concerns. And I had to screw it up. I actually could have had that match at the end. I threw it away. <sighs> well, I think at this point my record is something like 7 to 12 or something total tonight. Not sure entirely. Not proud of that record. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if I'm going to die of a stress based heart attack at age of 30. I don't know. <sighs> I'm feeling pretty wound up right now, though, so I'll probably end up ending this pretty shortly. I mean, it's already been almost an hour. I really should be ending this pretty shortly. <laughs> Actually, that counts the, the time before, so it's been 40 minutes. Still. Ah. Okay, there we go. Combo win. Now I've got to remember, I cannot use... What? Why wasn't I crouching? Oh, I can't. Oh, hey, corner throw. No, I'm relying too much on throw there. Ah, again with the timing issues. And again with the spacing issues. I gotta remember, Fortune has a really... has a back pose that is really hard to deal with. What? Oh. Right, throws aren't safe unless they're doing nothing. Or trying to block. Nope, they were too high. Drill Zebra would've been perfect there. Ah, seriously? I fell for that? Ah, oops. I thought I could get a burst bait off there. Didn't work. That did! There we- oh, that was a reset. Sheesh. But hey, it works! It's a good place to end it off. Getting my burst baits. Getting random resets, I guess. And I won a game. So that seems like a good place as any to end off. So thanks for watching. I think that actually worked out far better than the previous Skullgirl streams that I've done. And so yeah, thanks for watching. And also, if you're interested in watching me die horribly in Dark Souls 3, I have that Let's Play It started on Tuesday, and it's going basically half hour episodes every day, or roughly half hour episodes every day alongside other stuff, alongside Skullgirls and Zero K. So I don't know if that's the best format, but I have the streaming stuff that gets on YouTube as well as the Dark Souls stuff. And I don't want to have them be separate channels or anything because then the subscribers base is split and it just gets confusing. So I'm probably going to have two videos a day on average for the next little while. I mean, if it turns out that people are okay with like hour long episodes of Dark Souls 3, then I'll end up doing it every second day like an hour every second day rather than half an hour every day. And that'll be more interleaving videos. But I think there are people who come for Zero K, there are people who come for Skullgirls, there are people who come for Dark Souls, and I don't think that those groups... Some of those groups will obviously overlap, but I don't think they overlap to the point that I should worry about that too much. So, and Josh B 91 says, Hi, hello, Josh B 91 But, yeah. Not sure why they said hi. 
Hello. And goodbye, everyone. Have a good night as I end the stream. Good night.